People often think that as gaming resolution increases, the CPU's role in gaming performance becomes less critical, and they are partly right. Imagine two bars. One represents the CPU's maximum possible performance in a given game and scene, and the other the GPU's. Let's start at 720p resolution. Here the CPU can handle up to 60 FPS, while GPU, if fully utilized, could theoretically push out 100 FPS. But since the CPU can only manage 60 FPS, that's the limit we end up with, despite the GPU's potential. Now let's switch to 1440p. At this higher resolution, the GPU is under much more strain and can only render 45 FPS. So we see the CPU's load is off, with the GPU fully limiting performance at 45 FPS. This is why higher resolutions like Quad HD and 4K seem to lessen the CPU's impact on performance. The GPU is more likely to become the bottleneck, handling the majority of the workload. But what if this doesn't happen? What if our GPU was so powerful that even at 1440p we still faced a CPU limitation? Will we still be limited by the same 60 FPS CPU can provide? In theory we should be, since the CPU shouldn't be affected by rendering at a higher resolution, that's the GPU's responsibility, right? But are we certain that adjusting the screen resolution setting in the game only affects render resolution and nothing else? Hello and welcome back to Hardware Lab! I know at least two games where increase of the resolution setting reduces CPU performance. It does so without GPU being involved, or anywhere close to becoming a bottleneck. I'm just really tired of repeating stuff about how bottleneck works again and again, so if you don't get it, please watch our video about it. So coming back to our bars example, in some cases, the CPU FPS bar can also be affected when changing the resolution slider. Yes, obviously the GPU bar is affected way more, so you can argue that even in this case increasing the resolution is of the CPU, but it only does so if we are hitting a GPU limit. If we are getting rid of a GPU as a limitation factor and only look at the impact of resolution on CPU performance, there is never anything to ease it off when resolution is increased. The performance can rather stay the same or decrease. But why does this decrease happen? There can be multiple reasons, but I will give you a few examples from Digital Foundry. Here is what they say about Forza Horizon 5 performance. Take a look at the game running at 720p on the left hand side here and 1080p on the right hand side. In most games we expect the resolution to be the only differentiating factor between the quality of the graphics when the graphical settings are the same. In Forza Horizon 5 the level of detail for geometry and draw distance for objects is affected negatively by lower resolutions, so the game at lower resolution also seems to have a lower LOD. This makes sense on a technical level as higher res definitely requires higher level of details for geometry and textures, but it means CPU performance in this game will scale with internal resolution. So the game running at 720p is going to be less CPU intensive than the game running at 1440p or 4K. As an example, here's the game running at 1080p, 1440p, 720p, and 540p respectively on two very different CPUs, the 10900K on the high end and a very mid-range Ryzen R5 3600. Here the settings are set to max CPU related options, but I turned down some GPU related ones to reduce the chance of being GPU limited. As we can see the resolution behavior I talked about is showing here where higher resolutions run worse, even though we are definitely CPU bound here, especially on that Ryzen R5 3600. Important. Interesting. So whenever you change the resolution in this game, it also changes the LOD level because the LOD coefficient is connected to the render resolution. So while resolution itself does not affect CPU, the stuff related to it, hidden behind the setting, does. Sort of the same thing happens in Crisis Remastered. 
Further testing has revealed that adjusting the resolution in the Crisis Remastered actually affects your CPU frame rate. That sounds completely counterintuitive as resolution scaling is something usually that the GPU deals with when making pixels, but I think Crisis Remastered is doing something different here. Like the original Crisis, it may be making LOD level selection based upon the density of pixels, so higher resolution would make the game more expensive on the CPU. Or it may be doing some sort of massive instancing which changes based upon your resolution. Either way, it is not my job to speculate but I have measured a 13% on average performance loss when going from 720p to 1080p on the 10900K. With that Digital Foundry themselves did not figure out what it is that changes with resolution in crisis, but something definitely changes. So we decided to test both of these games as well as some other games to find how common this effect is, because I was suspecting that it is much more common than most of us realize. Specifically in Unreal Engine 5 games, a lot of current gen titles rely heavily on nanite geometry because it allows the usage of cinematic quality assets in real time. It does so by directly linking the asset mesh processing to the selected render resolution, so of course the impact should be there. All the games were tested on the Ryzen 5 3600, which was made by disabling one CCD module of 3900X. This is the exact copy of 3600, with no advantages over it. Even the cache amount is lowered down to the 3600 level. The CPU was overclocked to 4.3 GHz. The RAM was working on 3600 MHz CL141434 with two 8GB modules in dual channel. To ensure we are CPU limited in all the cases, we were using a Sapphire Pure Radeon RX 7800 XT GPU and comparing the 1440p resolution versus 720p, no 4K involved, although it was not enough in some cases. If we were struggling to get CPU limited in native 1440p in a game, we were using an FSR reconstruction. Yes, technically using an upscaler changes the render resolution, so the test becomes unfair. How to fix that? Well, use the same reconstruction preset in both tested resolutions. Yes, the test then stops being a test of 720p and 1440p, but the ratio between the render resolutions remains identical, so the measured performance data is still relevant in terms of comparing the numbers with each other. Oh wow, didn't I just tell you there is a difference in Forza Horizon 5? Well, not anymore. Yeah, they changed the way LODs work in one of the patches, so that they no longer depend on resolution. I haven't noticed any difference in LODs as well as any difference in performance when tested the latest version of the game. I've tried to create an in-game demo benchmark scene for this test and I might have gone too harsh with the amount of grenades, cause the 0.1 lows are crazy low in this run. Anyway, the difference between 720p and 1440p is variable from being extremely obvious to almost absent. I don't think it's the LODs that are dependent on the resolution here, or at least not only them, 
but yeah, the performance hit is definitely there. Dallas Principle 2 is one of the games that heavily relies on Nanite, and the numbers speak for themselves. In the forest, with a lot of detailed geometry, the difference can reach a crazy 20%, with the average difference of 10. I suspect that Black Myth Wukong used less nanite assets than Talos Principle 2, so the difference is not as dramatic, but it is still consistent and noticeable throughout multiple runs. Cyberpunk 2077 is a more traditional game in terms of geometry processing and it seems that the resolution setting in this game only does what it's supposed to, changes the render resolution, so there is practically no difference in performance. The same can be said about Starfield, the difference is within the margin of error.
I don't know why I decided to include that game, I just thought it would be interesting to see how 3600 handles the city simulation. Quite poorly, but what did you expect? What I didn't expect is the huge impact of resolution on the CPU performance here. It doesn't make that much sense. The main CPU task in this game is simulation. You know, pathfinding for 100k plus sims that decide to drive on a busway and injure a few pedestrians on the way, but yeah, a 30% difference in CPU performance. Generally, the resolution setting does not affect the CPU performance, and yes, if you want to test the CPU, you better go with lower res, that's right. However, generally does not mean in every game. There are quite a few games where the resolution setting does a bit more than it says it does. And with Unreal Engine 5 and Nanite, we'll only see more of these type of games in the future. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this test, why don't you check out plenty of similar content on our channel, and as usual, stay up to date with HL.